everyone and welcome to day 24, 24 out of 24, you have done it. So I hope you've enjoyed this challenge or whether you're just jumping into this routine right now, this is an ultimate self-loving routine for you. So we've kind of taken a little mashup of some of my favorite parts of all the routines that we've done so far and put it into this routine and um, to give you some self-love from top to toe. Okay, so let's get started. Just come to the back of your mat and we're going to have our feet hip distance apart. We're gonna lengthen out through the crown of our head, spread those toes wide, reach out, find that energy, find that length, find your focus, your connections from top to toe. Right arm's gonna reach up by the ear. You're gonna stretch through that side. Take a lovely side stretch, reaching your left fingers towards your foot on that side, come up through your center, press the arm down, grow tall. Breathe in, left arm comes up. Breathe out, side stretch all the way over, lengthening through and coming all the way up, pressing that arm down. Bring your right arm up alongside your ear again, reach to the side and then twist into that side. We'll roll down through that side, so stretching that arm over, come back through the center, up and over, lift through the tummy, through the arches as you come all the way up to pushing the mat away. Left arm comes up, breathe in. Reach to the side first and then rotate to that side. Start to roll down on that side, keeping your hips nice and level. Come through the center, feeling that lovely stretch through the hamstrings, through the back and rolling up through the midline. Good, we're gonna come into our lovely squats. We're gonna come down, breathing in. Breathing out, arms press back. So little bits from each sections of the class. Obviously we can't do the full routines all in one. So I've just chosen a few little things, created this nice routine for you to do today. A little gift for yourself. Just think of working your body, breathing and moving, your alignment, your Pilates. You're on your mat. Good, we've got four. Getting nice and worked through those hips. We've got three. Grow tall through that chest, two. Well done, squeeze the bottom and one. We're reaching right leg back and down and left leg back, finding that balance, that focus. Good. Breathe in, transfer, breathe out, checking the tracking of your feet and knees and hips. And you can make this as slow and steady or more dynamic as you want, but make sure you keep your alignment, your breath, your posture. Good, one leg goes back, we tip forwards, and we come back up. Just six, tip forwards, we come back up. Grounding and balancing hamstring glutes. Four, draw in through your hips, through your center. You've got three. Back leg is energizing and reaching away. Your back brings you up. Navel to spine, you've got two. Coming up tall through the crown of your head. We've got one, back leg reaches, we've got eight, seven, six, five, four, feel that standing leg, three, two, one. Come up using your glutes and hamstrings, back into that squat, other side, pressing back, tipping forwards. Back leg is energized, six here. Strong through that thigh, inhale, and exhale. Exhale, lifting tool, four more, inhale. Exhale, lifting tool, inhale. Exhale, grounding through, try not to tip to the side, last three. And bringing calmness and strength into your movements, two more. Come up tall, use that leg, last one, we hold back, leg reaches, eight, seven, lengthen away, six, Five ribs in, four, you've got it. Three and two and one, you're coming up. We're stepping to the side, coming into our Zumo position. Toes turned out, we're coming into our squats. Hands come behind the head, we're coming down. This is from our bar inspired Pilates. We're squeezing those inner thighs as we come up. Keep pressing that head back. We're keeping the rhythm, knees tracking over the ankles. Keeping the flow. Straight up and down, we've got four, inhale, exhale, we've got three. Knit those ribs together at the top, imagine you're sliding down the wall, two. Press those heels, let's hold it here, side bend, reach up and over, 
and back, shoulders away from the ears, up and over from that yoga inspired routine that we did. We're getting that side stretching. We're staying low in this squat. We've got four, keep pushing your head back, feeling those thighs. Three, lots of lovely lateral flexion. Two, use those abdominals to come up. Last one. Good, now reach your arms to the side. We're gonna to turn to one side. We're gonna come into our lunges. So we're gonna split those legs, make sure you're nice and parallel. Lift through your spine and we're coming down and up. Squeezing through, hips pulling to ribs, ribs drawing down, squeeze your glutes. Good, just eight here. Lengthening that thigh, staying upright, four more. Make sure the knee's over the ankle, not going in front. Three. Navel back, two, pierce your head up to the ceiling, one. Hands come down, coming into our plank, we've got our rocks. Inhale, exhale, rocking through those ankles. Inhale, exhale, eight, seven, lift up through that center, six, five, four, pull up through those hips, three, you've got it, two, and one, bring the knees down, five press-ups, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, shoulders away from the ears, two, and one, nice and strong, back to that plank, step that left foot through, come all the way up, and back to that Zumo squat. We're coming to the other side for those lunges. So check you're nice and parallel here. Legs are split apart. We come up, squeeze the hips in and down eight times. Press through that heel. Work the glutes in. Four, three, keeping those eyes focused, two, and one, grow towards you, bring your hands down. Step that back leg back into that plank. Press and energize through your body. And we just got that rocking. Maybe you just wanna hold that plank or move through those ankles. Six, five, four, three. Press that mat away, spread those shoulders. Last one, knees come down. Think of all those foundations that we found in our more, can, you know, our more back in the body routines. It all comes into practice here as we make it a little bit more dynamic. Last three, nice and strong, two, and one. Good job, back to that plank. Let's take it to downward dog from here. So bring your feet in a little bit, just soften your knees, have a moment to recollect, to recenter. Nice soft knees and the sit bones high. Stretch those legs a little bit, press them out away. We're gonna to come to a hover. Little hover of the knees just off. Bring the knees down. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders. Just coming into some little hovers here. Nice neutral spine. Draw your navel in. Breathe in to prepare. Breathe out to hover. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to hover. Breathe in to lower. Breathe out to hover. Breathe in to lower. This one we hold it. Finding that hover. We're gonna take our little twist to step your feet and knees together. Little twist right, center, left. I always do the opposite to what I say. So a little twist of the knees to the side, get into that waist, keep your back strong like a table. You've just got four, three, swizzle those feet, two, good job guys, last one. And we bring those knees down. Just sit back on your heels for a moment, give your shoulders a little roll, and we're gonna come into our arm sequence that we did right back the start of our challenge. So just come to a seated position, whatever kneeling position or comfortable position you find comfortable. We're just gonna come into our little goalpost arm movement. So finding that posture, regathering and centering, elbows are back, and we're gonna go breathe out, fingers point up, breathe in, knit the ribs. So a little moment to calm, to re-find 
even weight on both sit bones. Lengthen through your spine, keeping your elbows high. Four, turning from the top of the arm. Three, rotating two, and one. Really working those arms, and we're gonna go elbows in, working your posture, and up. Keeping your chest open. So it's like this little double U, and then up and down, kind of like windscreen wipers for five, for four, shoulders away from the ears, open chest for three, ribs expanding two, and one, arms come open, palms up, palms down, right from the top of the arm, turning down, Turning up, try not to let the whole body move. Keep your posture as you just turn from the top of the arm for four, for three. Sit back for two. We're gonna come into our chest expansion for one. Good, now come all the way up to your knees. We're gonna come into that chest expansion. So just bring your knees under your hips, press your pelvis forwards, lengthen your tailbone down, draw in and up through your waist as your arms go back, breathing in, breathing out. Ground through the shins, breathing in, even arms, breathing out. I want you to imagine you're growing up to the ceiling as those fingers reach back. And in, and back, open chest. And in four more, gently squeeze the shoulders, four, three, two, keeping that focus, hold it there for one little crisscross of those arms, just ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and we come into our hinge, and back. Well done. So this is that one where we find that center. Imagine you've got a, that pole running through your body, ribs to hips, you keep it. Try not to break at the hips or break at the rib cage. Really working that core here. We've got four more, squeeze the bottom, keeping that flow. We've got three, we're coming to some mat work, some abdominal work in a moment. We've got two more, breathing in, breathing out. Last one, press those hips forward, squeeze your bottom and grow tall as you come up. Lovely, let's sit back, sit to one side, just transition to your seated position, nice and smooth. Come to the middle of the mat, grounding through the feet, reaching those arms out in front, breathe in as they open. Breathe out, find your C curve, your roll back. Tilting the pelvis under, coming up, using your abdominals, open your chest, lift your eyes. Keep making sure those knees are in line with your hips. You're tucking that pelvis under, gathering in as you come up, breathing in to open, close, gather as if you're collecting something in. You feel the pubic bone tucking towards your belly button, rotating that pelvis. Good, and we round through. Drawing navel back as your hips slide underneath you, grounding through the feet. Breathe in as you open. Use your back and your abdominals up. Open that chest wide. Good, this one we're just gonna stay there, tucking that pelvis underneath, bringing your hands together, thumbs on the chest. We rotate right, inhale center, rotate left. Check the knees don't move. Breathe out as you twist from the middle of your body. Try and keep those knees nice and still. You've got four, you've got three, going through lots of lovely ranges of movement. Two, keeping the hands in the center. Last one, bring it back. Arms reach out in front, tuck the pelvis, go round and forwards. I was gonna say grow and round at the same time, so the word didn't really come out there. And then just coming back to the center. Good job, guys. Let's come onto our backs. So scoot your hips forwards towards your feet. Reach those arms out in front using your abdominals and let's slowly roll down, breathing out. Maybe you need to bring your hands to the mat, that's fine. And laying your back down. Just letting it settle here for a moment. Make sure you're in the middle of the mat. Your feet are about a foot's distance away. And we'll just let ourselves settle. A nice dynamic start. And we're gonna come into some toe taps. So 
Check in that pelvis. Take a breath in, breathe out, draw the abdominals away from your clothing. Finding that connection, take a breath in again. Keeping that connection and deepen as you float the right leg and then float the left leg, reaching through the arms. Breathing in as you tap the right, breathing out. Breathing in, tap the left. So just taking it back, tailbone is on the mat, trying to keep that pelvis balanced. Breathing in, lengthen the crown of your head away from the foot. Remember, we wanna try and move from the hip and not from the, the knee. So you move the hip, tapping towards the bottom of the mat. And as the foot goes down, draw in your navel towards your spine. Good, one more on each side, inhale. Lovely, and from here, let's go feet together. Let's reach those arms all the way back and some assisted, unassisted cut -up. So reaching through the upper body, pressing through the palms, breathing in as you come back. Breathing out as you come into that body, tips of the shoulders curling up. Breathing in. Breathing out. Remember, you can always support the head if you need to. Good, three more. Working on the way down as well as on the way up. Two more, curl that chest. Hips drawing towards that belly button as you go back. Last one, we curl up. We take hold of the right leg, left leg extends away and we breathe in for two, we breathe out for two. So those legs are drawing past each other like arrows, tips of the shoulders curling off, you're breathing in, breathing in, breathing out. <sighs> Keeping your pelvis nice and balanced, try not to hang back here, use those abdominals, get that chest lifted, chin away from chest, four, three, two, one, hug knees in, let's go double leg stretch, just six, inhale and exhale, gathering in, inhale, and exhale, four, three, work in those deep abdominals, two, gather in, last one, we reach around, we go right leg up, left leg all the way down, and we change, if you need to reset, just lower the head, find that center, and then when you're ready, just coming back up, if you can, for four, for three, for two, slow and steady, for one. We're gonna bring hands behind the head, little circles for five, just small. Remember, you can always bend the knee. Knees, three, two, you've got this control, one, reverse, five. I only take it as big as you can support that lower back. Three, really be true to yourself here, two, Keep pressing the head back in the hands, even with the circle, last one, legs come together. Let's take it to crisscross, up and over, just 10, nine, over, eight, seven, six, breathe out, five, breathe in, four, three, up and across, two, one, and relax. Hug those knees, melt those shoulders down. And then let's come into some lovely hip rolls, for some rotation through the back. So let's bring our legs up to tabletop position, legs together, finding that balanced pelvis, arms just below the shoulders out to the side, breathing in as we rotate, breathing out, drawing through the waist to come back, breathing in, tipping over, squeezing those thighs together as you draw it back. Just one more to each side, breathing in, breathing out, back through that waist, Breathing in and breathing out. Well done. Let's just bring our hands behind the backs of our thighs and come into our assisted roll up. So nod your chin towards your chest, press your thighs into your hands as you rock forwards. Sit in tall, finding that lift and that length. Start to round back as we roll back. Feet slide in, laying down. 
And again, you breathe out, curl the chest, press the thighs into the hands as you rock up. And you sit tall. And we start to come down, rounding through. Find that little traction, slide the feet in as we come back. This one, we're gonna stay up there. So if you can, find it as slow as you can. Press the low back down, find that little rock in through to your seated position. We're gonna bring our hands back behind us, coming to our little tricep dips here. So breathing in as we bend the elbows back, breathing out. So you can keep the hips down. We'll do the first set with the hips down. Elbows going back behind you, chest nice and open, pressing the mat away. We've got four more, breathing in, breathing out. Try not to have the hands too close or too far away, just right beneath those shoulders, three. Pelvis staying nice and neutral, two. And we've got one. Well done, we're coming up, so stand into the feet, roll those hips up, scoop the tailbone under, and we're gonna go eight here. Seven in this little back support, keep even. Six, five, open chest. Four, pressing that mat away. Three, you've got it. Two, good, squeeze those hips under. Last one, and come all the way down. Good, soles of the feet together, reach all the way up. And we're just gonna come into some side lying. So over the legs, a little bit of side lying little bit of our flow and press up and then we are done a little bit of back extension so let's just come into our little side section so we're going to come onto one side so we're going to bring the right elbow underneath the right shoulder feet slightly back so we're going to go for our clam in our hip lift and our leg abduction we're going to do three and three okay alternating so make sure you've got that lovely support from the shoulder remember you can always do this laying on your side as well if you feel like you have had a little Enough, I understand. <laughs> so if you can, you can come up underneath hip squeezing. We've got three, going to that full range. Two, try not to drop the head. And one, legs gonna extend out. We've got three, two, and one. Bring the leg in, back again. Three, breathe out, two, and one. Lengthen, extend the leg away. We've got three, press through the heel. Two, squeeze the underneath hip and one, push those hips forward, you've got one more time, three, you've got it, two, find that length, one, well done, extend that leg away, three, press through that heel, two, good, and one, lovely, let's bring ourselves down, let's extend arm and leg away, we've just got eight here, eight, elbow to knee, seven, find length and reach, six, reach, five, and reach, four, elbow to knee, bring that knee in, three, you've got it, two, reach, 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 last one, and we bring it back with control. We don't collapse, we're gonna come all the way up into our little side stretch, so just separate the knees a little bit. That arm that you were just on is gonna come up alongside your ear, and you're gonna side bend over. And then we're gonna transition to the other side, so hands behind you, legs around. We'll come onto that forearm, okay? Same thing, three, three. Feet slightly back, check the elbows underneath the shoulder. We're not collapsing down, we're nearly there. We keep this energy, this focus. We lift up, heels together, three, two, one. Leg extends away, flex that foot, three, two, one. Bring it in, three, two, one. You're long and lengthened, extend, we've got three. Two, make sure it's really parallel. One, bring it in, squeeze it underneath bottom. Three, two, breathe. One, extend the leg. Three, two, inner and outer thigh. One, bring it down. Arm reaches over, fine length. I want you to feel like you're being pulled in two different directions. Breathe out, breathe in. Seven, breathe in. Six, Four, you've got it. Three, energize away. Two, navel to spine. Last one, we reach and we draw it in. Good, come up with control. Let's take that side stretch on this side and then we're gonna come into some lovely back extension. Breathe into that side. Be on your mat. 
come all the way up tall. We're gonna come onto our front, so just come around onto your front. Legs a little bit wider than the hips. Lengthening through your legs, drawing in through your abdominals. Arms just to the side. We're gonna reach the feet away, but keep them on the floor. Brush the nose along the mat as you come into your extension. Just gently squeeze in between those shoulder blades. Keep that little lift under your center. Really good for that posture for that back. We're lifting those arms. Reach the feet away, draw in through the ribs. We've just got 10, up and down. Nine, eight, already work those arms here. Seven, working that back now. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, bring it down. Let's come up, come into our plank position. Little mountain climber here. We're so nearly there. Just this mountain climber. Strong upper body. Four, three, two. Resist you in the, using those abdominals. Last one, lift those hips to that down stretch. Breathe into that down stretch position. Lengthen through those hamstrings. Press that mat away. Really connected through the whole body here. We're gonna float that right leg up high. And we're just gonna bring it all the way through. Step it between the hands, bring the back knee down. Just come into a little lunge, arms up. Press those hips forwards, open your chest. Breathe into your body. And just bring your hands down. Good, step back to that plank. Lift those hips from your waist. Press the mat away. And then float that left leg up, reach it high. Step it through. Between your hands, gently bring the back knee down. Float those arms up. Gather your ribs. Calm breath. Lovely stretch for those hips. Let's bring those hands down. Let's come back to that plank position. Step that leg back. Let's bring the knees down. Sit back towards the heels. Little moving cat stretch through the spine. Lovely one that we did for our digestion yesterday as well. Moving through the body. Moving and breathing. Giving that body some love with this lovely movement. Breathing in as we sit back. Breathing out as you roll forwards. One more, breathing in. Breathing out, so I hope you enjoyed that little mashup of all the favorite little bits of the routines. Just come back to your all fours, tuck your toes under, come back to that down stretch. Start to walk your feet forwards, little tiptoes using your abdominals towards your hands. And then just bend your knees, come to a little seated position. And we'll just see if we can just find a little balance here. So into that little rock back off the sit bones, that C curve. Maybe you keep your hands down, that's fine. Maybe you float your legs up and reach to those ankles. Lengthen through the crown of your head, drawing in, finding your center. For five, four, three, growing taller, finding connection, two, and one, just gently bring your feet down. If your hands are back, just push yourself up. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Hands resting on your shins. <sighs> Lifting tall, maybe slide the feet a little bit away. And just be here for a moment. Just noticing, breathing. Maybe closing down the eyes. Taking three deep breaths together, breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, letting go as you breathe out, and just taking a last breath out and really celebrating your 24 days of Pilates, your time on the mat today, tomorrow, or in the future. See you again soon, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. You've done so well. I'm so proud of you. And I'll see you again soon. Bye.